Good morning. This is Monica, and uh, welcome to my healing world. This is the Panamanian nanny, and this is day two of a toxic garbage um, fire that's been happening near Panama City. And uh, you can actually see the haze that is cast over the city. They say that it's going to take about uh, five to ten days before they can control it. And uh, I just wanted to give you these notes while I'm thinking about it, because I, I also think as the anniversary of Fukushima is happening that I really feel for the people that have to deal with invisible pollution. And uh, I thought I'd just do a little bit of a, a blog about this because um, I am a Shetsu therapist and I do study um, energetic healing and so I wanted to uh, think about ways to deal with this before um, I forget. And one of the things I've noticed is that my armpits where my lymph glands are are itchy. And so I've been actually manually pumping my, uh, my uh, lymph glands um, in my armpit with my hands, massaging it, just moving the uh, whatever energy that's uh, toxic through, helping my physical being by manually uh, massaging the lymph glands. I'm also swallowing. I'm doing a lot of internal movement of my neck because right here underneath your uh, throat is the start of two lymph buttons that actually help move um, the toxins out into the heart cavity into the armpits so that you can actually move um, toxicity out through the sweat and uh, I'm going to do the same thing for my kids, I think, uh, just because they're so little and I'm not also going to suggest it to the grandmother that's living here. And um, I just hope that they can manage to get it contained. This is a third world country. Uh, I'm sure they're just using shovels, if anything. I'm, I'm sure it's not like Canada where they would probably have bombers throwing water onto this uh, burning plastic laden you know, this country does not recycle, and so everything is thrown into the garbage country. And I feel very, very, um, I think, grateful to be here to experience this so that I can actually project it out into the world. I noticed that there's not a lot, a lot of news about this fire from a personal point of view, and I thought I'd offer it um, right here in this blog. Um, uh, this is day two. Uh, hopefully that I'll be able to figure out this new iPad that I have so that I can do more work. I just, I don't, I, I'm doing the best I can uh, in the moment and as you can see I'm still in my pajamas because um, the smoke has been irritating to my throat and um, it has been a very uncomfortable night. I, I um, was sleeping through um, cloth. Uh, wet cloth and also had my face mask on, but I uh, can only imagine how it is in other countries where they don't have um, filters for pollution. And uh, up to now, I mean, uh, Costa Rica has been beautiful. It's just uh, with a garbage fire and no recycling, it, you can imagine all the plastic that's burning. So, welcome to my healing world. I hope I offer you some. Um, interesting insights and uh, and I'll continue reporting from the field. So, welcome to my healing world. This is Panama City um, and uh, have a great day wherever you are.